Hello, welcome to Kumari's Kids channel. Today's story is going to be about the princess and the frog. It was a balmy afternoon in New Orleans, perfect for a night with friends. Chalet Honey, Big Daddy, Le Bouffe, called to his daughter. How about going to Tiana's palace for supper tonight? Oh, Daddy, that would be wonderful. Just give me a minute to change. <clears throat> a little later, Big Daddy and Chalet drove off. They didn't realize their dog, Stella, was asleep in the back of the car. When the lab buffs arrived at the restaurant, a jazz band was on stage. Louis the alligator was playing his trumpet. Charlotte, how are you? Princess Tiana exclaimed. She was happy to see her best friend. Big Daddy would like to sit with my mama and Naveen's parents. <clears throat> When I can't think of anyone better to share my supper with, with Dan, Adora, and your in-laws, he replied. Soon, Tiana's family and friends were settled at a big table. The princess walked around the dining room to make sure her other guests were happy too. Meanwhile, Stella had woken up. The dog climbed out of the Labo's car and looked around. Immediately, she caught the mouth-watering scent of Tiana's bagnets. Stella followed her nose right into the restaurant kitchen. Looky here, shouted one of the cooks. We have a visitor. Here you go, puppy. Have some of this gumbo. It's a new recipe. Stella eagerly tasted the dish. It was delicious. A moment later, a waiter threw her large bone. The dog couldn't believe her good luck. Stella spent the whole evening in the kitchen while Charlotte and Big Daddy dined to Louis' jazz music and talked with her friends. Stella was getting all kinds of tears. Late that night, after the after the last jazz number had been played, all of the guests went home. Charlotte and Big Daddy never realized that Stella was also at the restaurant. Ta-ta, Charlotte called as they left. Adora left with Naveen's parents. Turning to her daughter, she said, I have never heard the band played quite that well. And that new gumbo, absolutely delicious. I'll see you tomorrow, sweetheart. And after Princess Tiana walked, he walked her family to the door, she went back to the dining room to finish the cleaning up. Few minutes later, Louis, the band, went to the kitchen for their evening meal. As they walked in, Stella began to bark. Bark, grrr, oof. She was terrified of the giant alligator. Oh, no, hold on, little dog. Louis spoke to Stella. I'm not here to eat you. I just wanted to a taste of the chef's new gumbo. But Stella was frightened. She kept bark barking. The kitchen staff and the band members looked at each other. They weren't sure. What to do? In the dining room, Tiana and Naveen heard the barking. They rushed to the rushed to see what was causing the commotion. Tiana recognized the Labo's pet at once. Stella, what are you doing here? She asked. Don't worry, Louis is our friend. He wouldn't hurt anybody. That's true, Naveen cried, putting his arm around Louis. He's nothing but a big guy with an, with an even bigger heart. 
The alligator peeked out from behind his tail. He didn't understand why the dog was so upset. Go ahead, Princess said. Tiana encouraged the dog. Just go over and make friends. Cautiously, Stella walked toward Louis. The alligator stayed very still. He didn't want to frighten the dog all overnight. She nothing to be scared about. Navin said. Soon Stella realized Louis was harmless. The dog wagged her tail. Then she smelled some delicious chicken. Tiana smiled. Let's get dinner for you all. The pr princess and the kitchen staff quickly put together a supper out of the evening's leftover. Everyone went into the dining room. The staff ate while Prince Naveen played the ukulele. Louis picked up his trumpet and joined in the song. Some of the waiters and waitresses began to dance. Tella didn't pay much attention. Though she was eating some of Tiana's back nuts. A while later, the staff headed home. Tomorrow would be another busy day at Tiana's palace. Come on, Stella, Tiana told the dog. Time for you to go too. The prince and princesses brought Stella to Charlotte's house. No one had noticed she was missing yet. Good night, Stella, Princess Tiana said, giving the dog a big hug. Now that you know how much fun we have, have had at the restaurant, you should come by more often. Woof, woof, Stella barked. She hadn't expected to have a, such, a, such an adventure that night. She knew she'd return to Tiana's palace the next chance she got. Okay, this is the end of the story, The Princess and the Frog. I'll see you guys in the next storytelling. Bye.